Hey folks, this is Philip with the Everyday Fighter Podcast. I was thinking the other day um, about some of the folks that I've worked with and one of the kind of the group that stands out the most for me are the uh, women that I've worked with in my uh, morning class. Um, there's a few of them that, that really stand out in that they're very, they can be very tough, <laughs> uh, particularly in sparring. Um, in, in the uh, school that I teach, there comes a point in the kind of the progression of, of levels where we, we mandate uh, people to start sparring. Now, these women, they, um, they, they took a lot of contact. They gave a, a lot of contact a lot of times to the point where I would have to tell them this is, uh, it was kind of consistent with them for a while anyway, where I would, just, I would tell them, I would feel uncomfortable with the level of contact that they are, they're putting out on each other. Um, let's say, hey, listen, you, we got to bring this down. And uh, what I'd seen, uh, my impression of, of, of that was a couple things. And I think, you know, just because I spent so much time with these ladies, there was a feeling that was coming out for me, um, that they wanted that a bit. They wanted to, I don't know if proving is the right word, but they wanted to either to themselves or to anybody that's watching that, you know, I can take this, I can take these shots, right? You know, I can give, but the bigger thing for me was that they were, they were taking them, but, um, they were, they were, they were taking those, those shots, no defense or anything. It's like, Hey, let me just go through this, this barrage that's coming at me. Right. And where sometimes you've got to do that on the mat, you know, in the ring, you, you've got to just kind of take the shots. You've got to just absorb it and, and, and go, um, there's there's a downside to that as well in that because you've got that toughness on, because you've got that mentality, it made them less aware of what was actually hitting them, right? Um, they're saying, I'll just take whatever comes my way. Well, you don't necessarily need that to be the case. If you, if you don't have to take damage, well, why would you, right? Even though, again, we're, we weren't going crazy, and we don't do that in my class, but it's just that, um, you know, even if, if, if I, if I would hit them, you know, in the, in the, in the belly or, you know, tap them on the head or whatever, they would just brush it off and just keep on going. And, you know, my thing for them was that, Hey, um, you need to accept those shots. Like they were coming at you hard. Like you, you, you have to, you can't just brush this stuff off because we aren't going hard. So you have to have that sensitivity as well. And I didn't have the, the, I didn't have the language at the time to, to describe. It was kind of like what um, Brene Brown talks about in terms of putting on your armor. And she says that, you know, and and she's talking about like emotionally, like if you put on your armor to block out the kind of the negative emotion or be able to stand like any negative stuff coming your way you block out the good stuff as well. You block out the good emotion. You block out the, uh, you can't just have this armor on that is selectively blocking things out. It's like you put it on, you're putting it on. So, and that's the same kind of thing that I saw, saw with them is that, you know, they're able to be tough and I don't know why, maybe it was something that they wanted to prove themselves. Maybe it's just something that was coming over from outside the ring, right? their home life or socially like people telling them, Oh, you can't do this or you can't do that. Or, Hey, toughen up, you know, kind of like that language that, that we hear a lot, um, from, um, you know, just, just around us. I mean, social media is a big part of it. Just, just, you know, grind and take it and, and all, and all that. And like you, you, you can withstand all that. Um, but I, 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 to, I had to tell them, I said, listen, you got to feel not just, you've got to be able to not only take these things and, you know, be tough at the appropriate moments, but you also have to cultivate 
a sensitivity. You have to be able to feel, you know, even the slightest things that are coming your way as well, because that is going to be useful to you. It's not just useful for you to withstand the storm. It's also useful for you to be sensitive enough to see, oh, it's starting to rain. You know, maybe I need to put on my raincoat or, oh, yeah, the wind's picking up. Maybe it's time for me to go inside. So that's something that I, I, I had to stress over a, a time. And there were times when I would talk about this that, you know, I would get emotional talking about it. They're, they're getting emotional talking because there, there are times for me as well where I'm like, I need to cultivate this, this, uh, this toughness. And um, it, it's, it's already a difficult thing to try to say, okay, let me get tough. Let me just forget about the things that are making me feel a certain way. Like, you know, it's just, okay, you got to set those things aside, kind of compartmentalize, right? And just get through, right? But, you know, and again, while that can be useful, I think if you're on that path for too long that you lose out on the benefits of having those sensitivities as well. And that's just, that's not just in the ring. It's like, it's like, you know, I mentioned Brene Brown and that's, and that's something she, she, uh, I, by the way, I highly recommend her work. It's, it's made a very big difference in, in my life in the last uh, few months, but you know, that that's something outside in our, our regu- regular lives that we have to keep in mind as well, whether it's in at work or with our family is that if we're shielding ourselves, we can't shield ourselves for so long um, without getting some of the negative repercussions of that. And namely, you're you're losing out on kind of some some of the benefits of having those sensitivities. You know, you block out. You can't just block out the bad stuff. You're blocking out a lot more. You know, and that includes the the good stuff as well. So, I think uh, some self awareness of when um, you have your armor on, when you take it off, or maybe you're aware of what your armor is doing to you, it's it's really it's really important. So that's what I want to share with you today. Uh, this is Philip with the Everyday Fighter Podcast. Talk to you next time. <laughs>